grew up on the farm. And as far as the picture, I remember in elementary school that dad climbed up in the attic, which was not easy to get to. And, yes, and uh, came down with this picture. We never thought it was worth it. And uh, it was not something that was desired to hang in the living room, so it remained in this room right here, which was an unheated room. And the blinds were pulled, so shades were pulled so that it was protected from the sun. When I was a young girl, I would, it just was something fascinating. I always enjoyed just studying all the details of the painting. But so when they were going to sell the farm, um, that was the one request I had, can I have the painting? What, when you look at this, what oh, well, memories do you have of the well, farm? I remember all the details. <laughs> Back here is the smokehouse. Mm -hmm. And they used to smoke their meat to keep it year round. This schoolhouse was replaced in some donated partial of this farm in a different area. And that schoolhouse burned. And so we consolidated the whole community with a dollar rock. Mm -hmm. Which was put over here, right? Yeah, the right. Base, of, base of that one. The base of this. That's the dollar rock area. So Dale was one of those that liked to hike on top of the rock <laughs> yeah. a lot. Yeah. Did you do that, Dwight? Oh yeah, I did that a lot. That's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's against school rules, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> so what he didn't portray is this is actually on the slope. Oh. And that it looks right. flat. That's true. It looks not That's flat true. at all. This used to be marshland down here in the trees. But they developed that after a while too. They ditched the land and then they drained the water out of it. Farms changed, and it's interesting to see all the different changes in farming. And now it's still changing. You know, every farm is getting bigger, bigger, bigger. A lot of small farms are disappearing. You mentioned uh, you had it hanging in your home in Baltimore, and then uh, people started making comments about it. Well, we didn't realize the any that it was of that much value until one of our friends came to visit and said, you know, that looks like a Paul Cipher's painting. We were totally unaware of it at that time. What did you think when you realized what you had? Uh, I didn't want it in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted it preserved for future generations. We live in Maryland. Our daughters uh, are from Maryland. They don't have a connection to Wisconsin. And to me, this is part of Wisconsin and it belongs here.